cheeseburger omelet. Now wait a minute before you click off here and go to another video or snarl your nose at it. Don't knock it until you try it. You know, my wife said the same thing and she really likes it after I made one for her. So anyway, this is a cheeseburger omelet. We're going to show you how to do this in this video. It's sort of like IHOP's, uh, IHOP had a cheeseburger video, uh, not a video, but a cheeseburger recipe uh, omelet that they used to make, but they've discontinued that. But anyway, I think ours is going to be better. So if you're ready, we're going to jump into this and see what it's all about. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started making this cheeseburger omelet. Now, I've got my cast iron skillet here. Now, this is my 10 and a half inch cast iron skillet. And the reason why I'm using this 10 and a half inch cast iron skillet today versus my big 12 inch skillet is because for me, this is a good little omelet skillet. And uh, so with the amount of stuff that we're going to be cooking and putting in this omelet, we're going to need a pretty good size little omelet pan. So anyway, that's my cast iron skillet here. Now, I've got a little bit of bacon here that we cooked uh, in another video, and I'll leave that up in the card there where you can click on that video, or I'll leave it down in the description where you can view that. But anyway, how to make good, uh, perfect uh, bacon every time. And also, now I've got some onions here diced up and some bell pepper. And you can put just about anything in this cheeseburger omelet that you want to. Of course, naturally, I've got some good hamburger here, and we're going to put some cheese on it. And I got good old farm fresh eggs here too. So um, we've got a few of them here in the mixing bowl we're gonna mix up. But also you could put like mushrooms if you wanted to. I don't have any mushrooms for this video, but I've got a couple black or a little bit of black olives here. So I might put a little bit of that in there too. So anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. We'll get this hamburger meat in the, in the cast iron skillet, get it started, throw that in there, uh, get it started uh, browning up and everything. We're going to put our onions in there as well. Uh, go ahead and put our green olives. Uh, put that in there and let that start browning up and cooking down, sauteing them onions and, and bell pepper and everything. And uh, we'll get our eggs mixed up here. And just as soon as this browns up here, we'll come back to you here and we'll get all this stuff together here. All right, well, we got this hamburger and bell pepper and, and onions cooking down. And one thing I failed to mention to you too also is garlic. I had to put a little bit of garlic in this. So we got our garlic and our bell pepper and onion and, and hamburger cooking down here. Got my old grease can over here. So, you know, you guys, if you don't have a grease can for your bacon, you need to get you one of those. I got a link of that down in the description. But also I went ahead and broke out my little eight inch cast iron skillet here. This is actually a really a good omelet. Uh, skillet but anyway uh, I tend to have like a three or four egg omelet so I need a little bit bigger skillet a lot of times and especially everything we're going to be putting in this with hamburger and all the different things and the different ingredients we're going to put in this omelet so I need a little bit of a little bit bigger omelet pan so that's why we broke that out and uh, but anyway I'm going to cook a small omelet in that eight ounce pan too just to show you so while that's uh, continuing to brown up, we've got all these eggs here, and I'm going to get ready and mix all these up. Uh, you can whisk them or just take a fork and mix them up real good like that right there. Just get them good and mixed up. Now, some people add milk to their eggs to make them a little more fluffy. I, I generally don't uh, because it kind of makes the eggs a little bit watery when you're cooking, and you got to cook all that water out. And uh, sometimes it tends to burn your eggs, so I don't do that. I just mix my eggs up like this right here, just get them good and mixed up where the yolk and the, and the whites are all mixed up real good. And that's all you really need to do. So also I got my bacon all crunched up here that we cooked in the video before. If you've not seen that video, I'll link that up in the description up above here. And uh, you can make perfect bacon every time. And so just as soon as, like I said, as soon as all this, uh, all this hamburger gets cooked up and everything we'll uh, we'll come back to you and put all this together all right well we got the hamburger and the bell pepper and onions cooked up and everything and we got our skillets ready and they're good and hot we poured up the grease and everything uh, i just wanted to show you something too on this little omelet skillet uh, you can see i barely got just enough grease in the bottom of it to uh, you know to coat it you don't want a whole lot of grease in there same with this other 10 inch i've got just a little bit of grease in there just enough so my eggs don't stick and so we'll go ahead and we'll get started we'll pour up some eggs in this and uh, 
get our omelet going here. Oh, look at that now. How about that? All right, pull one up over here for Teresa too. How about that in this little one? All right, we'll pour all that up. Now, some things that you need to know about eggs, uh, cooking eggs in cast iron. As you can see on the outside edge, see how that's starting to uh, crisp up a little bit on the outside edge? That's what you're looking for, but not only that, but you want to see it start to kind of separate from the edge of the uh, of the skillet. You want it to see start setting back a little bit from the from the skillet, and then you know that the bottom set real good. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of our ingredients in here. Put a little bit of bacon. If I can hold this here. I had a little bit of bacon, so this is going to be a bacon, egg, and cheese omelet. All right, go ahead and get me a little bit more here and put in this one here. Okay. Now, I'm taking that a little bit of this hamburger meat in here. A little bit of that. Okay, that ought to be enough of that. Now, I've got some cheese too. I'm going to lay a little bit of cheese in here. And these are just deli cheese, slices of cheese. And you can use shredded cheese if you want. I just like good deli cheese. Anyway, now that you can see these eggs are starting to peel away from the skillet, I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit. And you can see how that is pulling away from the skillet. And I mean, the eggs are still just a little bit runny on the on the top there, but we went ahead and put our, our hamburger and, and uh, bell pepper and onion and our cheese there, and we also added a little bacon. So once that's like that, you can just take and flip that omelet over and uh, let it set, let that meat, uh, that cheese melt a little bit. You can actually turn your heat off because a cast iron skillet, you know, will hold heat for a good little while. So you could go ahead once it gets to that point and sets up. Now this little skillet, I didn't have the heat on as high. And uh, so, <clears throat> It's going to take a little bit to get it uh, where we need it to be. But anyway, just wanted to show you what this omelet looks like here. We'll let that sit up for just a second. We've got our heat cut off. And we'll go ahead and we'll try to pull this, pull this omelet. Let's see if I can do this by myself here. Anyway, there we go. That's what that omelet looks like. Now, you could take and add some good old salsa to that. I've got some good thick and chunky salsa. You can add that or, or Frank's hot sauce or whatever if you got. Uh, I'm going to be making a homemade uh, uh, salsa, not necessarily salsa, but um, a salsa video pretty soon to add to this. So. Okay, this other little omelet's just about ready. I'm gonna go, oh, I broke that one. So anyway, I didn't let that one set up, so we'll we'll just have to deal with that. But anyway, we're not always perfect in these videos, so you know, sometimes you're gonna have problems like that. But anyway, we've got our other omelet ready and uh, actually added a little salsa to that. I'm gonna be making a uh, homemade pico de gallo recipe real soon, and I'll share that with you. So you guys hold on and be watching for that. So. We're gonna give this a shot here. I put a little uh, thick and chunky salsa on that. Man, look at that. Ooh-wee, what you talking about? Let me try that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Cheeseburger omelet, folks. There you have it. We appreciate you guys. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. And it's Mr. Cast Iron. We'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day.